What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, this is a member voted video. So we do the member poll every week for content. And this was the second highest voted video, if I remember correctly. And uh, it's a topic that I've kind of struggled putting together. I debated on doing a 5, I debated on doing a 10, I settled on a 7. So some good stuff had to get left out. But we're going to be talking about what I think is the top 7 Fresh Mancera fragrances for summertime. So some of these won't surprise you that they're on this list. And some of these may surprise you. A few of your favorites might be omitted. I don't know. But let's get into it. Stay tuned. Starting with one of the best from the house, I don't think too many people would argue that point. It's Soleil d'Italie. This is such a beautiful, airy citrus, very watery, a breezy type of scent. Solid performance. It's pretty long lasting. I would put it in the very good category in performance. It's not going to overwhelm anyone. It's not going to fill any rooms and it's not going to last for 12 to 16 hours, at least not on my skin, but solid eight hours every time I've worn it. Very present without being too immense. Like I said, it's a very airy and breezy type of scent. Just scream summertime. I get the kind of vibe that I get from Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue from it. While they don't really share the same scent profile, they kind of fit the same feeling. It, it kind of puts me in the same mood. I get all the feels, just like I do when I wear Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, because for those of you that don't know, it's one of my all-time favorite scent profiles. And uh, this one kind of puts me in a similar headspace uh, olfactively when it comes to this. Like I said, beautiful citrus, most notably some orange stands out to me. Beautiful fresh water accord. It's a little aromatic without being too soapy. There's a touch of florals here. There's a very soft, clean musk wood combo in the dry down. Just a lovely fragrance. This is one to absolutely try. It's Soleil d'Italie from Mancera. Now this one's pretty new to the collection. I haven't spent a ton of time with it, but I would say it's masterfully composed. You have to like florals, but a lot of people would be very upset if this didn't make the seven, but hey, I'm with you. It needs to be in the seven. It is Sicily, the famed release. It's been out for several years at this point. Juicy yellow floral heart. That's the biggest difference here. You get a bunch of citrus. This is a little bit richer, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more flowery than the previous fragrance that we talked about. Very, very good performer. But like I said, it's got this beautiful yellow floral lang a -lang type of feel. And there's this juicy, slightly sweet, fruity, and citrus combination at the top. Makes a little bit of a watery feel. Uh, even a little exotic in the opening. Just a lovely fragrance. Dries down a little powdery. Again, you have to like florals here. This is perfectly unisex with a little bit of a feminine leaning tone to it. But if you can spend a little time with this and appreciate it, if you're a guy that likes floral fragrances, this is one of the best fresh floral fragrances I've ever smelled that works totally fine as a daily scent profile choice in the summer for guys. I'm a huge fan of this one. I know a bunch of guys that are as well on the internet. You know, online friends of mine. It's absolutely worth trying out. You need to get your nose on this one. It's Mancera Sicily. The first time I smelled this one with my buddy Nathan, shout out to Paragon Fragrances, I knew I had to have a bottle. It's one of the best, sharpest of lemons I've ever smelled. It's like a fresh cut lemon, that sharp, just astringent type of feel from the lemon juice. That's what I get with lemon lime. This is another one relatively new to the collection, but there's a nice creamy woody feel to this one. It's not overly sweet, but there's a little bit of a candy lemon heads type of feel. But at first, it's just bright, sharp, zesty, very watery, and, and kind of stingy. When I say astringent, I mean kind of stingy when it comes to the citrus here. This lemon, oh, there it is. Sharp, and like I said, just slightly candy. Not super sweet lemon, but it's got a little bit of the lemon heads thing going, which I love. Big fan of this one. Uh, nothing crazy about this one. Great performer, though. 8 to 10 hour range in longevity. This one can be a lot. This one can kind of choke you out if you spray this one heavy. So be mindful of it. See how it reacts on your skin. Be mindful of your situation and who you're going to be around. But, uh, you know, if you like lemon, I'm just going to call it like it is here. This is one of the best lemon-heavy openings I've ever smelled in a fragrance. Perfectly suited for the hot weather. Again, that's Mancera Lemon Lime. 
So in many ways, I put my recent kind of love affair with Mancera, this particular release, I kind of put it midway, right smack dab in the middle of the video. Some of you know where I'm going with this. I've become a humongous fan of this fragrance. We're talking about French Riviera, one of the newer fresh releases in the house. It just literally sits right here. I'm sure you could hear me put it down. And I pull the cap and sniff it all the time. So the tire flower here offers a more creamy than powdery white floral tone, a bunch of citrus and a fresh water accord with more woods than musk is what I get from this one, but most notably that white flowery feel. This has a upscale casual feel to it. Great daytime laid back type of vibe. Longevity is there. Not a loud fragrance. Very chill, average reach in projection and sillage type of stuff. Not going to overtake anybody's senses. I mean, depends on how sensitive your nose and how, and how it reacts to your skin, obviously. But for me, it's not an overwhelming scent profile, especially after 30 minutes when it really starts to settle in. But you, oh man, you need to try this. And when I say you, I mean every single one of you watching this video that has not tried this fragrance yet. Uh, this is this is starting to really get up there with being my favorite fresh Mancera fragrance. And that holds a lot of weight because Sole Ditali, Wave Must, things like that, which obviously we're going to get to in a minute, those have traditionally been, you know, my favorite freshies from the house. This one's kind of standing on top of the mountain here lately. I stand firmly behind this one. Again, I encourage you, get a decant, buy a carded sample, get your nose on this. Is it a safe blind buy? I mean, you got to know what you're getting into. I felt it was safe enough to blind buy, but that's me. I don't necessarily encourage you to do it, but nothing mold breakingly different here. But I'll tell you what, you want to make some summer memories with a remarkable, what I feel is a remarkable scent profile that can kind of fit a laid back vibe to the carefree type of summer feeling. That's what this is. It's Mancera French Riviera. And as mentioned previously, of course, Wave Musk is in this video because for the longest time, this was my favorite and it still is. If this was ranked, this would be top two or three. It's not really ranked because, I mean, my supposed favorite was in the middle of the seven just now at number four. But this is an older style screw cap. What's beautiful about this is this juicy grapefruit. It's got a fresh cut grass feel. It's watery and aquatic and it's salty sea breeze. It's all of these different nuances and elements kind of working together, obviously with a musky tone, it's even in the name. This is good stuff, really good stuff. And it might remind you of certain green citrus, citrus mixed with green type of fragrances, but I feel like there's more depth here than all the things that it'll, it will remind you of. Uh, it's a very breezy, airy scent. Uh, another one that's kind of in the same vein of like Soli Ditali and French Riviera with the way that it performs, where I get an easy eight hours of longevity on skin, but it's never too much. Siage on it's pretty good because it's nice and airy. It gets out in the air real easy, but it's not a dense cloud surrounding you, but it's ever so present. This one, again, a vibe, a great casual vibe, a great work fragrance. I used to wear this one to work back when I was at Toyota. That was around the time that I had got this a few years ago. Big fan, super underrated, doesn't get enough love, has been for a few years now, and has, and it always will be, in my opinion. When it comes to the best fresh Manceras that you could possibly want to rock with for the summertime, not too many are going to do it better than Mancera Wave Musk. Now, this one in particular could be a controversial pick because some of you may have tried this and can't stand it because you got to like rose. Very rose dominant. It's a fresh, fruity rose fragrance with some aquatics. Is basically how you can look at it. It's Mancera, so blue. So this one, you know, pun intended, I guess, since I said so. This one in particular is a lot more powdery than the other ones we've talked about in this video, but it's lovely. Now look, this hefty Turkish rose smell, this fresh watery rose, it dominates early on, but it settles in nicely. It doesn't get real creamy. There is more of a woody tone than anything else to support this powdery rose as it dries. It maintains a little bit of the aquatic feel, the wateriness. The citruses do fade, not rapidly, but faster than maybe some of the others where they're more citrus dominant. Like I said, this is a fresh rose fragrance at its core. You have to like it. This one, you have to like rose. This is a feminine leaning fragrance with great performance. This one's gonna stick to you for a while. You're gonna live in this sillage for most of your day, for sure, if you spray this one. I wore this one recently when we went to Castle Rock and hit the outlets several weeks ago, and it, that was the last time I wore it, and it was just, 
I'm not going to say magical wearing, but I sure was enjoying my CIs. My wife is a fan of this one. Underappreciated stuff. Uh, this has been around since I want to say like 2015. It had been on the bucket list for a really long time. I got this one in the last few months, and it's kind of becoming a go to when I think Fresh Man Sarah. Obviously, it's in my top seven. Um, it's one that I think is special because it's not of the norm. Like I said, s a lot of citrus and fruitiness, dense rose that gets powdery with a bright, watery nature. I don't have a ton of fragrances that smell like that. And that's why I appreciate this one. And that's Mancera. Let me get it to focus, huh? How about that? How about if it would focus? We're going to make it focus. This is so blue. Last but not least, to put this one on, some cool stuff got left off. Fabulous Yuzu. Beautiful lemon bars type of smell. Still fits for the summer. Melody of the Sun. I deem one of the most versatile freshies from the house that I think not only works great in the summer, but year-round. Like Those two immediately come to mind that unfortunately had to be left off of this list because fragrances like this deserve a spot in just about any Mancera list. It's Cidrat Boisse. It's not the freshest fragrance here. I get it because it's very fruity. There's a sweetness here. There's a leather accord that's very soft. And it's a dense woody fragrance overall, but this works great in the summertime. This is a year-round signature scent type of fragrance. Some of you are wondering where aqua wood is. Like I said, there's a bunch of great ones that got left off of this. Uh, if I would have done a, ten, a top 10, there still would have been some great stuff to get left off. This is an older screw cap design, but this is one of the best scent profiles ever created. It deserved a spot. Um, I probably saved a lot of people's favorite for last. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time, like I stated. Sharp lemon, sweet fruits, kind of a fruity pebble type of thing going on. The way I've described it in the past is picture a wicker basket full of just a variety of fruits. Grapes, apples, lemons, oranges, all that stuff going on. You kind of get that bouquet of fruits, this just smorgasbord, if you will. Just basket full. Like I said, dry woody tone. I don't get much of the leather here. The intense, I get plenty of leather. Here, it's more about woods for me. Super easy to like. This is great for dates. This is great for daytime. This is great for work. This is just great. This, is, this excels in every situation, in my opinion. It's one of the true greatest signature scents of all time in my opinion and of course it works awesome for summer maybe be mindful of the sprays if it's super triple digits heat with humidity maybe be easy on the sprays it might be a little cloying if you go heavy on the trigger two or three sprays and you should be fine but the average hot day you'll be fine dialing it up however you feel and you're probably going to get some compliments because it's like that when it comes to mancera sidrap boisse well that's the seven that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Of these seven, what do you have or have you tried? And what do you think about them? Which of these seven are you interested in checking out? Which of your favorites got omitted from the list? I know we're going to hear a lot of comments about that. Trust me, some of my favorite fresher man Sarah's had to be omitted because not everything can be in the top seven. And they got a lot of fragrances from the house. So until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these seven and you put them in your summer rotation here in 2023, who knows? You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.